Hey everyone, Pete Warner here with your Diz Daily Fix for Wednesday, November 16th, 2016. Here's what's happening today. Walt Disney World has introduced a new admission ticket in an effort to spur more traffic into the theme parks. The four-park magic ticket will allow guests to visit one theme park on four separate days for just $70 a day. There are some catches, though. You can't visit the same park more than once, and there are some blockout dates, which right now are December 17th through January 2nd and April 10th through April 21st. The tickets can be added to both on-site and off-site packages and are valid through May 26th, 2017. Now, all of us have been talking about Star Wars land for some time, but most of what we have seen have been construction walls. Until now. A company called NearMap has published a series of high-res aerial images that show the construction work currently happening at the Disneyland Park. It's a very cool set of images and provides some perspective on just how much work is happening right now. On the movie front, the first full-length trailer for the upcoming Beauty and the Beast live-action film was released this week, and I don't know about you, but this looks amazing. Emma Watson, who played Hermione in the Harry Potter film series, and the role uh, plays the role of Belle, and Dan Stevens, who played the role of Matthew Crawley in Downton Abbey, plays the Beast. According to the film's director, Bill Condon, the film will rep- reprise all of the popular musical numbers from the animated feature while also adding some new, mu- new music written by Alan Menken. I'm sorry, I can't read today, but it's okay. Um, the film is scheduled to hit theaters March 17th, and you can count me among those who will absolutely be there on opening night. As soon as you're done watching this, go watch this trailer. It looks amazing. I am so excited about this movie. Now, over on the Diz today, contributor Stephen Rickard has an article entitled, My Florida Vacation Christmas List. And over on DizBoards.com, a thread started by CMNJ discusses the new four-park magic ticket and how to get the most from it. Head over to DizBoards.com to join in the discussion. On DizUnplugged.com today, you'll find the latest installment of our Best and Worst of Walt Disney World series. This week, we talk about the five best hidden gems at Walt Disney World for the Christmas holidays. And finally, in the weather, if you're headed into the parks in Orlando tomorrow, expect gorgeous weather with sunny skies and a high of 79, dropping down to 59 at night. Out in Anaheim, you can expect similar weather with a high of 76 and a low of 50. You can find links to all these stories and more on our Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix. That will do it for me today. Join us again tomorrow at noon Eastern for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.